Now you'll be familiar with your phone and the kind of images it can take. And in this video, I want to look at those images in a bit more detail. You see, each image is made up of a number of different picture elements. And we call each of these picture elements a pixel. Now here I've got something which is 10 pixels wide by 10 pixels tall. And each pixel can store some information. Uh, these ones here, they've got different values. And I'm going to be using something which has eight bits of information. When you've got eight bits, this gives 256 possible alternative values. And we can go from maybe zero all the way up to 255. So that's our first bit of information. Uh, that's our 256 uh, value that we could have. And on this one here, zero, the lower number is something which is dark. So zero is completely black. And the highest number we can get to is 255, which is going to be white. And this is just a grayscale image where different values are a different sort of gray. So we've got a low value for a dark gray, a high value for a light gray. And if we think about in this image here, how much information is stored, it's going to be equal to the number of pixels multiplied by the number of bits per pixel. So for this image here, the total number of pixels would be 100. We've got eight bits per pixel. And that means the total amount of information is going to be equal to 800 bits. Now, the other thing about this is at the moment, you can see that this is quite, I suppose, pixelated. It's quite blocky. And we can also think about the resolution. Effectively, if you've got more pixels, we can have a greater resolution. And for this example here, we can actually just look at the resolution by looking at the width of the image, which is 70 millimeters and realize that 10 pixels represent 70 millimeters. So here the resolution is equal to the distance divided by the number of pixels. In this case, it was 70 millimeters and that had 10 pixels. And therefore this is equal to seven millimeters per, per pixel. And ultimately we want to have a greater resolution so we can make out more detail. And that's why your phones and computers make a big deal about the resolution of the screen. So once we've got an image, we can actually do something to it. We can change the values of each of these cells to maybe think about the contrast, the brightness, and also edge detection. So this is the image that we're starting with. And you can see it's quite a dull, dark image, lots of low numbers here. One thing we can do is we can make the whole thing brighter. And the way we do that is we add the same value to each of the pixels. In this case, we've added 77. So we can go from 0 to 77, or we can go from 132 up to 255. So the first thing when it comes to manipulating images is we can change the brightness. And so we're increasing the value of every pixel by the same amount. So we've made the image brighter. Something else we can also do is we can also adjust the contrast. And that means that we use the full range of values available. We can see here we go from sort of 77 to 255, but we're not using the full range of possible values. So something else we could do is maybe adjust them so that uh, we keep the high numbers quite high, but we make some of the low numbers even lower. And by doing that, what we're doing with the contrast the values of the pixels are adjusted to use the full range. So we've got more contrast in the image. We've got a brighter image over there. Sometimes though, the images that we start with aren't brilliant and they might be quite noisy. So we can see here, we've got a few kind of odd pixels which are maybe brighter or uh, duller than the ones surrounding them. And what we can then do is we can start to think about the noise in the image and how we do this noise reduction. And this is quite simple. Effectively, we replace the noisy pixels with the average of the values of the pixels surrounding them. So it might be the mean or it might be the median. So this one here that was 255, we can replace with one equal to 201. This one, which was zero, we can replace with something which is equal to 42. And we might then clean up the image and get something like this. So this means that we can reduce the noise in the image. Now, the final thing that we can do is we can actually look at edge detecting. And this is where we look at the change between different colored pixels. Now, the way we do this is we look at one pixel and then we compare the value in this pixel to the values of those around it. And what we do is we take the value 
we multiply it by 4. So let's imagine we're going to go for this one here first of all. We take the value of the pixel, we multiply it by 4, and then we take away the value of the cell or the pixel which is above it, below it, to the left and to the right. So this one over here, uh, the value was 201. We're going to multiply that by 4, which would be 804. And then we're going to take away 201, 201, 201, and 201. And that means the value we're going to replace that with is equal to 0, which is actually black. And this means that if you've got a, a pixel which is surrounded by pixels of the same colour, that then becomes black. This one over here, uh, the 42 up here, we'd have 4 times 42, take away 42, take away 42, take away 42, take away 42, which is then just 0 as well. So we can see that these areas here all become black, and these ones all become black as well. But let's look at this cell up here now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have 201 multiplied by 4. We're going to take away the value of the cell above it, which is 42. We're going to take away uh, below it, so 201, left is 201, and to the right is 201. And this then gives a value equal to 159, which is a medium grey colour. If we think about maybe this one over here, this number 42, let's have a look at that one now. So here we'd have 42 multiplied by 4, and then we're going to take away, above it we've got 42, below it we've got 201, to the left is 42, and to the right is 42. Now this then gives us a number equal to minus 159. Now we can't have any values which are below 0, so that means this one here is then going to be given a value of 0, which is also black. So effectively, any of these one numbers which were 42 are going to go black. Most of the 201s are going to go black, but there's going to be this line along here which stays as light grey. And so this is what we might see at the end. We can see the edge is clearly here between these two different colours that we had before. So we can start with an original image, we can increase the brightness, we can adjust the contrast, we can get rid of noise, and we can also do edge detection. And that's something which is really useful to do with these digital images.